since you came off stage at no, Wembley. Really. How are you feeling today? I'm a little tired. Uh, we went to a fabulous party uh, after the show last night. <laughs> Rather a lot of noise, isn't it? Um, and uh, I got home late, flew up here this morning, but I'm glad to be here. It's, it's a lovely day. It's not the best cure for a hangover, this, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> then again, I, I didn't have a drink because I tried to get up early, so I'm OK. Good. Tell us a little bit about the concert. A bit emotional for you as well? Uh, yes, it was. Not so much uh, in retrospect, yes, but when you're on stage um, and in front of 72,000 people, it's far more euphoric than it is uh, sad or anything like that. It, it, just wonderful to be in front of um, really our, our home crowd, because it's one and a half years since we played in England. The, uh, the last uh, tour was in America, and uh, they were so enthusiastic, so partisan. It was, uh, they were a wonderful crowd, they were brilliant. And the concert went on a while, didn't it? It was, it was nearly three hours long. We got fined. <laughs> <laughs> fined for going on yeah, too long? Yeah, fined for going on too long, but uh, it was worth it. Um, there were fireworks and lasers at the end, which I didn't see, but we filmed it, and hopefully uh, it'll be, the film will be released sometime in the future, so then I'll, I'll get to see it. Well, the plans now for you are sporting as much as musical. First, let's have a word about this here today. Any experience of shooting in your program? But just once before, I went to uh, our music publisher's house for lunch one day, and he's got his own trap and sent a few out, and uh, I think I had a better success rate then than I, than I have today. It's bit not been uh, I had to put it down to tiredness. And the, and the machinery, the gun's just not right. You used to do well in the old days in the fairground, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to get to cuddly toys in a dozen. Different technique, rather, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Let's I've got a sore cheekbone, it kicks up, and I've got, oh, dear, <laughs> a bruise like that. There's a, there's a fair sort of motorsport feel about this event today, with Jackie not, Stewart and I, I, Nigel and Martin Brundle here, isn't and it? and Dr Jonathan Palmer as well. It's, uh, I'm in revered company, I just have some of it will rub off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are the motorsport plans for you now? Um, throughout July, um, I have a, a very intensive testing schedule. Then, my first race of... Uh, now I'm back to This it, is Formula 3. three. Formula 3 is uh, the Formula 3 Super Prix at Brands Hatch, and that'll be in England. And then we have eight races in uh, and around Europe. And uh, I've been lucky enough to be invited down to the Australian Grand Prix to drive the celebrity race there, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah. It should be great down there. It's going to be a bit of a contrast with what you've done so far, though, Formula 3, isn't it? Um, yes, it is a contrast. It's, uh, funny enough, the, the, the uh, excitement is, is similar to being on stage. It's that same adrenaline rush, mm. although it is a bit more um, hype in, in the car. You know, it does have you on your wits a bit, a bit more than uh, performing does, but it's still the same sort of thing. You've got the backing and you've got the package together to allow you to complete, no doubt. But do you feel you've got the ability? Um, I think I've got potential. Um, luckily enough, uh, there's a few around me who think I have as well, so I'm not the only person. Um, but it needs developing, and this year is very much an, uh, a novice year for me. And if it goes well, uh, I'll do a second season in Formula 3 and hopefully uh, develop what I've learned. Yeah. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. A lot of Thank other you. people out there want to know what the music plans are now. Any... Um, well, I, I think I'll take a break from it. Uh, I'm not turning my back on music uh, altogether. Um, and I think within the uh, next year or two, I'll, I'll produce something. I don't know what it is yet, but hopefully that'll be something. Well, it's good to see you here today. And congratulations on looking in such good nick after the <laughs> night before. Thanks a lot. So, Prince Andrew, the...